Hey everyone, Slambo here. Got another package in the mail. This one uh, is another box that I knew was coming, but this time I don't know what's in it. So let's open it up and find out. So a month or so ago, uh, I entered a contest for uh, George Allen, uh, LPs and CDs. Um, I put my uh, contest entry up and I tried to put a, uh, a note into uh, our comment on the video saying that my entry was up. Uh, apparently the way that I tried it, you know, I tried linking directly to it and that was probably the, ba the bad part of the idea. Uh, he didn't see my comment. Uh, so when he did the drawing, I, I put in the note, oops, we missed mine. And then he offered to send me something as a, uh, as a consolation. And I said, no, that's not necessary, but uh, he did anyway. So I appreciate it. Um, I don't know what's in here, like I said. So we're opening it up now. Let's, oh, come on, there we go. Trying to get all this tape here. There we go. All right. So opening it up here, we got some nice big, big green bubble wrap, so you can be uh, nice and satisfied with that. Looks like a whole bunch of records. So let's do this. It might be something on the bottom there. Do it so I'm not looking at each one yet. Uh, okay. So there's a couple of records here. Feels like a, a 10 inch or and a uh, and a 12 inch so let's see the, the small one first we have sunday band concert uh let's see by cities of service band of america conducted by paul laval so we got spirit of freedom dixie carnival of venice ballyhoo the o old oaken bucket united press march listen to the mockingbird and big joe the tuba on this is, fits in really well with my uh, early jazz recordings on, whoops, <laughs> definitely going to have to clean this one later. Uh, RCA Victor Black Label. There we go. That looks really nice. Does it say who the band is? City Service Band of America, conducted by Paul Laval. Uh, I don't see a year on here. I need to get some 10 inch inner sleeves now too, because I got a couple of those that need inner sleeves now. Uh, let's see down at the bottom. There's a handwritten note that says 1953. I would tend to believe that. Uh, let's see. Popular interest in the American style brass band has recently become nationwide again. And an outstanding reason for this revival is the city's service band of America led by Paul Laval. Uh, first historic broadcast on June 4, 1948. So this will be uh, this will be interesting to listen to. This fits in r really well with the uh, with the jazz in my collection. So thank you very much for that. Oh, there's a second 10 inch here. Oh, nice Woody Herman and his orchestra. That's a name I don't know. On another 10 inch, a Columbia LP. Another one that needs an inner sleeve. Let's pull this one out. So we got the nice red Columbia label on that one. There's the front and there's the back. Nice. What do we got on here? Uh, let's see. CL6026 non-breakable. Well, I, I bet I could find a way to break it, but I'm not definitely not going to uh, try to do that. This is one that I definitely do want to listen to. Uh, this again also fits in well with the uh, early jazz. It looks like the, uh, the outer sleeve has been taped up on the top here and a little masking tape here on the bottom. So a little bit of uh, repair on that will need to be done, but uh, it works for right now. Let's see, looks like we've got four tracks on here. Summer Sequence, Lady McGowan's Dream, Everywhere, and Back Talk. Uh, let's see, unquestionably one of the most exciting or significant and exciting trends in popular music is its movement away from established forms into relatively unexplored fields. Well, just wait, you know, <laughs> once we got into the 50s, things really got weird, but, uh, but yeah. Woody Herman is uh, is a band that I know, uh, and I know I'm going to enjoy this one. So thank you very much for that. And let's see, we've got, oh, let's see, we've got a note here that, put that aside for the moment. And on the 12 inch, there's actually a little, little vinyl white packet. So thank you very much for that. I'm going to try that out. And I've seen other people uh, talk about those. So we'll see how well that works. And the last one in here, we've got uh, Pete Fountain, the blues. This is going to be a, an interesting one to listen to. Another name that I know, but I haven't heard very much of. 
And there's the back. You get a little bit of a ding on the corner there, but that's all right. As, uh, as someone else mentioned, we don't play the sleeves. So <laughs> we play the records. A little bit of a ding there as well. So we've got, uh, looks like 12 tracks on this one, starting with St. Louis Blues, a song that I know very well from all the other jazz that I listen to. Uh, Blue Fountain, Columbus Stockade Blues, Aunt Hager's Blues, Lonesome Road, Memphis Blues. My inspiration, Wang Wang Blues. Oh, that's a fun one. I, that one I hear on uh, some of the comedy recordings as well. Uh, Beale Street Blues, Wabash Blues, Five Point Blues, and Bayou Blues. Uh, let's see. Personnel on the art on the bands here. We've got uh, Manny Klein, Conrad Gazzo, Art Depew, Shorty Sherrock, Mo Schneider, William Schaefer, Howard Diner, Peter Lofthouse, Jack Dumont, Eddie Miller, Russ Cheever, Babe Russon, William Uliate, Jack Sperling, Stan Reitzman, and Morty Korb. Uh, all names that are new to me, so that'll be interesting. Uh, let's see, looking down further on other tracks, where it's slightly different uh, lineup on the tracks, but I'm not seeing any other names on here. So yeah, um, Pete Fountain is a name that I recognize. Uh, let's see, cabinets or clarinet solos with orchestra directed by Bud Dance. So it's kind of hard to read the uh, script font there, but uh, yeah, almost looked like cabinet. Uh, let's see, Pete Fountain is back in jazz where he belongs. The clarinetist from New Orleans has returned home to swing a little, as he engagingly put it, and live the life that I know best. Uh, though grateful for the exposure and recognition accorded him while the swinging member of the Lawrence Welk TV family became progressively apparent to Fountain during his two-year tenure with the Welk organization that the association could not be a lasting one. I guess champagne and bourbon don't mix. Well, I could agree with that one. <laughs> but, but yeah, that's going to be a fun one to listen to. Uh, let's see, on Coral Records. And we got the uh, nice vinyl in motion inner sleeve on that one. We'll pull that out so we can take a look at both labels. So we've got, there's one side and there's the other. So yeah, two 10 inches and a 12 inch plus a vinyl wipe. Uh, unexpected or unnecessary to send, but uh, very well appreciated. Uh, these are, at least two of them are bands that I had heard before, or names that I had heard of before. So I appreciate that, and they will go very well with the uh, early jazz recordings that I've I've been collecting. Uh, I've got another one to show in another video that I just purchased this week at uh, Thrift Shop, so that's coming up in another video. Uh, you'll see that one as, as well pretty soon. Uh, but that goes right along with these that uh, that just came in the mail. So thank you, George, for th for this. Looking forward to listening to these. I'll probably spin them this afternoon after I finish recording all of these. So thank you very much again. Please go subscribe to George Allen LPs and CDs if you're not already. George, I appreciate the gift. Uh, I owe you one on these. Thank you.